Are you all in for content and new ideas? Then this is for you. This right here is TextWizard.io, an AI copywriter who has taken their visual identity to the next level. Let's check it out. So this is the dashboard of Text Wizard, where we get the overview of the tools. And you can see that it's limited amount and they do also have some long form article here, which we will dive in to see how it works. First, I want to show you documents because within documents is where you can save all of your content generation. So here is a Facebook post that I try to generate where it generates some text for me and I can then sit and simply edit it with the simple editor that they have here. Then we do also have my own recipes because it's possible for you to make your own recipes within text wizard. So let's try and create a recipe for generating YouTube names. So here we'll call it YouTube title generator and we'll share it with the community. Let's write these different fields out. So I have given a description for this recipe and then I have given some examples on outcome and input and those examples you can see down here. So let's try and create the recipe and then let's see how this will actually go. The recipe is ready and it will then lay in here. So we can actually start now to use this recipe. So let's say that I want to create a YouTube title for this exact video here. So let's write in something interesting about text wizard. So my input will be text wizard review, the best visual AI copywriter. So let's generate. And as you can see here, we have a little guy standing and casting spells and doing some magic. So let's see what the output is. And the output is basically the same as my input. So either I didn't make the recipe good enough, or then I need some better guidance on how to do these recipes. But let's just save this one as the YouTube title. When I press save here, then it is saved into my documents as you saw just before. In the community recipes, we do have these other different ones with a pickup line generator, product reviews, product review generator, and a corporate Ipsum generator. But let's move on to the actual AI tools we have within textwizard.io. Below social media, we have Facebook posts, Twitter tweet, and hashtags. And the hashtag one is really interesting. So let's just write a fictional social media post. So we now have the text and I really like that I can write a lot. I'm not limited by 60 characters or some of the limits that we've seen in the other tools. So let's try and generate some hashtags for this specific post and let's see what we get. So we got four hashtags, review, AI, copywriter and vision. And the hashtags make sense, but I would love for these hashtags to have more meaning behind. So why are these hashtags good for me? Is it because they're trending on Twitter or is it because they have so many posts? What is the reason for choosing these different hashtags? It will be a nice add on to have some explanation behind. But let's try some of the other tools we have here our blog headline blog outline and some other blog tools. I think I will try with a short article. So here we need to enter some article brief and they're suggesting how to make money online. I will do something like this review here. So I've written a short description of the review of text wizard and then let's try and generate this short article. I'm really curious to see how short it actually is. The generation is now done and this is a complete miss. I chose English as the language and the output is in German. So I have no chance in confirming whether this is good or not. For me, this is not a short article. This is definitely an introduction to an article or a section that we can use. This is so far from a short article. A short article is maybe 300 words or something more. And here we do not have anything close to that. So this tool is definitely a miss for me. But let's go to the long form article and then let's see what they can do in here. So I have a title, textwizard.io, an AI copywriter, and then I have four different outlines here. An introduction, describing two of their features, and then a conclusion. So let's press generate and see. This will definitely take some time. So what we can do is that we can continue in the background, and then we can always follow it up here in the generation queue. While that runs in the background, then let's try and test some of the e-commerce tools. 
Right now they only have product description, but let's try and test it out because I can see that the input here is a little bit different. So the language is English and you can see that they have a lot of different languages here that you can use, which we will test just in a moment. But let's go here with the product description and let's see how this will go. So I've entered that I'm selling computers of the brand of Apple and the unique selling proposition is that it's fast and a reliable computer. The price is 3000 US dollars. So let's generate some product description based on this and let's see how it will go. So this was rather fast and it's pretty precise what it's talking about. It is even taking details from the MacBook and talking about the Bluetooth, the LAN, the iCore 5 and so much more. So this is actually great to use. I'm very impressed by this. Let's close this one down and go up in our generation queue to see our long form article generation is now done. So let's see how this actually went. So I have very mixed feelings about this. The first thing I noticed is that the order of my outline has been mixed around. The introduction is down here where it was in the top before. The text up here about use the social media post to level up your social media game. Here it is talking about a calendar that I can use to schedule my posting. So that's a complete miss. Here it is talking about text wizard in general and not the AI recipes. Down here it is just complete nonsense talking about some episodes from TechCrunch and it took a link from Google developer and the conclusion is actually okay which is very surprising to me because what is it concluding? The other sections here has nothing to do definitely with AI copywriting except for this here and I feel that I was pretty good at describing the different sections but I still feel and this is an issue we see with all the AI copywriting tool we're missing the big picture. We're missing that it takes all of the sections and then creates some sense of what this article is about. Right now it is very isolating and taking section by section and then generating content. So in the end, the article that we get based on this will be all over the place. But this is definitely a mixed result. I'll just close this one down for now. We can always open the different ones if we didn't save them and we want to save them but there must be some type of limit in the queue here. But that is the different tools. I will say overall, it's a little bit of a mix of the results. Before we round up, let's just try the elevator page here and then let's see how it looks in Danish, which is my native language. So the thing I'm pitching is a software app for planning your week. Let's see how this elevator page will be and how it will translate it into Danish because some of the previous results we've seen has been very mixed and a lot of them basically just look like Google Translate. So let's see. So this is definitely some of the better results I have seen in terms of translating into another language. This one is in Danish and even though it's not native Danish, I will say it's definitely usable. This makes sense and the words are not swapped around or not translated word by word. I really like this and the overall quality of the content generated is also great. Of course, you have to change out the different details of the day you want to meet and the name of the software and your own name, of course. But the overall picture of this elevator pitch is definitely up there. I really like the results here. So this is great to see from textwizard.io. So just to round up before we go to pricing, they do have a long form content generator, but we're still missing the overall sense. I feel that it's not a complete long form content generator because it is just sections put together. So I hope definitely to see some improvement in that tool. Now let's discuss pricing. You can use Text Wizard completely free and it's not a free trial. It is an actual free plan where you can use text wizard and then you can always upgrade to one of the paid plans. And if you're looking for unlimited text generation, that is also possible with the most expensive plan within text wizard, which costs 99 us dollars. And this pricing structure reminds me a lot of niches because niches also have the unlimited characters generation for 99 us dollars. So you can compare those two against each other, then see where you get the most value. But talking about niches, which is one of the alternatives to text wizard. Niches design is falling so much behind compared to text wizard because text wizard, not only is their design optimized and it's very modern, 
they have even taken their visual identity to the next level. So you can see that the loading screens are wizards doing magic and they're just using the wizard world magic all over their product. The other alternative is pepper type. And what I really like about pepper type is again their design. Not only do they generate great quality short form content, but their design is modern and up to date. So compared to text wizard, where text wizard wins is on their visual identity because they have just taken it one notch up in order to make us really feel that we're in the wizard universe, even though we're just generating content. Now the future of text wizard is really interesting because the thing with these short form content tools is that we need to be able to generate content fast and sufficient. And that's why they're working on a Chrome extension tool. So with this Chrome extension, we can generate content wherever we are on the web. So whether you're sitting in Facebook and writing a post, you're in LinkedIn and writing a message or something third, then you have the Chrome extension and you can easily generate content. You don't have to go back and forth with the system. Then they're also working on better AI algorithms. So here the thing is that they cannot optimize the actual algorithms, but what they can do is that they can optimize the connection between GPT-3 and text wizard. And there are definitely elements that they can optimize. Furthermore, then they're working on a really interesting tool, which is a visual content generator for Instagram. It will be so interesting to see how they will solve it. Will they generate images? Is it only text or is it maybe some emojis that they're talking about? I'm really looking forward to this tool. And last but not least, Text Wizard are one of the AI copywriters who are best at helping us generate content. They have so many different small sections where they explain us how we get the most out of the tool, but they are taking it a step further. They are building an entire knowledge base of articles which will explain us how we can get the most out of Text Wizard and generate the most quality content possible. Now, after using Text Wizard, I'm a huge fan of the design, as you can probably feel already. And then the fact that you can build your own recipes, though I wish that they had a Chrome extension, so it would be easier to use it on the web. And then they have very few community recipes, which shows that it's still a new tool. Text Wizard has really taken their visual identity to the next level and the wizard world is definitely shining through all of their features. With the Chrome extension coming up, Text Wizard will really show its true value as we can then generate content all over the internet. I want to give Text Wizard three and a half stars. It's a solid product, but we're missing the wow factor. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.